Hey guys, Rise7Fall9 here today with a quick Movie Studio Platinum tutorial. Uh, Movie Studio Platinum is very similar to Sony Vegas, but it's just a video sit er, it's just a video editing software that I use. Um, it works fairly well for what I use it for, and uh, I actually prefer it over Sony Vegas, but that's just my personal opinion. Uh, it's pretty much the exact same thing with just a few subtle differences. So if you're on Sony Vegas, don't feel left out because uh, they're pretty much the same thing. So let's get started here. We have our video track. Um, we're going to be comparing track motion and event pan crop today because um, they are different. Um, there are two different methods of moving your video around on the screen. Um, and I recently discovered uh, actually how to use event pan crop properly. So uh, we will check that out. So here we have, we click this button right here, this event pan and crop button to open it up. And uh, here we have this. You can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out. Uh, you could rotate it if you want. Uh, you can pull on the edges to make it bigger or smaller. Um, I'm not sure what this middle thing does when you, when you do that but that's a thing I guess anyway what I'm the focus of what I'm talking about today is uh, position and this little button right here moves the video a certain way depending on how you click so um, I think it's set regularly like the default at this so you cannot move it uh, vertically you can only move it horizontally but you can click this and you can change it so you can move it vertically if you want but not horizontally and then you can click it again and then you can move it uh, freely um, I prefer free movement because um, when you're making uh, stuff on the timeline it's just a lot simpler being able to like move it to the specific place that you want it to go when you're moving your video track around um, I won't talk about the timeline today because I am not very or I'm, I'm not qualified I would say um, I'm not an expert on the timeline alright so for a quick recap um, you can rotate it you can rotate your video you can zoom in and out um, and this changes the position depending on what you want whether you want to move it horizontally vertically or have free range movement uh, this over here um, this is your position if you want to be really accurate with it you can change these settings here um, to whatever you prefer these coordinates um, so yeah um, one thing I'd like to talk about before I exit out of this uh, screen is how to save a default uh, event pan crop this is nice when you're using uh, webcam footage and you you want to put it uh, like this in the top left hand corner here because then you can have a default uh, webcam footage spot so you don't have to uh, come back every time and try to find the exact coordinates or type them in all you have to do to stay consistent is just name this so we're gonna name this I don't know webcam and then we'll just save it and then you can scroll down and you can see we already have some default settings here and we can just click on our webcam and that's the one that we'd want so let's say we'd want we put out an uh or sorry we bring in another webcam footage so we'd set it here I would have it like this and so it would go to our event pan crop but instead of messing around with this and I don't know derping trying to figure out what setting is exactly right all we'd have to do is go to what we saved hit webcam and it's right there alright so the other thing I'd like to talk about today is our track motion now track motion is fairly similar to event pan crop except um, 
it affects the entire uh, I guess what do, you, what do you call it it affects the entire video track that you're on so if I'm on this video track here and this is the uh, track motion button right here so we click the track motion button and this would come up and uh, it looks fairly similar to the uh, event pan crop because it's got a timeline it's got uh, your positions your angles again the only difference is I'm just gonna quickly throw down that the only difference is is that once you move something so let's say I'm going to move this like a webcam up here like that um, the only difference is, is whatever media you put on this uh, this event track afterwards is the exact same no matter what it's in the exact same spot because it, it moves your entire video your frame or whatever and when you do that when you move your uh, track motion this little bar appears separating uh, whatever's underneath of it whatever tracks underneath it whatever tracks underneath of it whether it's a, uh, a music track or a video track and you can also if you wish uh, you can event pan crop actually on a track motion if you so wish so you can move this in and out like that pretty cool the only problem with uh, track motion is that if you're not paying attention and you accidentally bring something in and set it on this video track and you just want it to be regular and, and you edit it and you get it perfect and you find out later that it's actually in the same spot as your like webcam footage or something it can be annoying to change um, but it is a fast and efficient way to uh, to position whatever you want in your your video frame here but like I said earlier um, you can just save the settings with your video event pan crop and it'd be the same every time so that works like that I don't know it just it kinda just depends on what you're feeling like I mean if you're just making a quick simple video uh, just quick track motion would probably be fine so yeah so that's the tutorial today I hope you guys enjoyed it um, I might make more in the future uh, this was just a quick one for uh, people interested in event pan crop and track motion uh, I just recently learned about event pan crop so forgive me if I made any mistakes um, leave a comment in the comment section if you know what the hell this thing does right here and I will see you guys next time <laughs>